If you study music theory in school, you'll probably come across phrase structure at some point. If you're thinking about music as language, this is the level of, well, phrases. There are two main types. First, you've got your periods, where you have some sort of question and answer structure. Theorists who talk about German music from the 18th and 19th centuries love to split hairs about these and come up with all sorts of ways of categorizing them, but the basic idea is pretty easy to hear, I think. This type of hearing definitely plays a role in listening to metal. A big part of analyzing phrase structures in classical music has to do with specific types of cadences, but even if these cadences don't happen in metal nearly as often, the basic shapes are often still the same. In addition to periods, the second type is a sentence, which are those guys that go ba da da da, ba da da da, ba da 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 da. In other words, you get a short basic idea, repeat it, maybe with some small differences, and then you get a continuation that's longer than either of the basic ideas and brings the phrase to some sort of conclusion. You can find these at all sorts of levels of scale and nested inside each other. The antecedent and consequent of the Mozart example from a second ago are actually themselves sentences. common, these also happen in metal, although the harmonic language is again generally different. Because we hear these types of phrase structures all the time in all sorts of music, we expect to keep hearing them. When we get something that sounds like the start of one, we expect that it will finish like one. A lot of the time it does, and that's fun and satisfying. But a lot of the time, especially in this crazy region of the metal universe that we call technical and progressive, phrases don't go as we expect. Finally, it's time to talk about this short bit of music that blew me off my feet the first time I heard it from A Prison of Ice by the Beast of Nod. <laughs> What was surprising about this? The song works in fast and exciting, but predictable, riff blocks for the first minute or so. And then when we leave this first riff behind for the first time, it sounds like we're getting the start of a sentence structure with two slightly different statements of a short basic idea. It sounds like it could be heading into something like this, which would fulfill these expectations. especially primed to hear something predictable like this because of how rhythmically and structurally predictable the song has been up until this point. What actually happens is so much wilder. It goes something like this. What sounds like the start of a sentence structure just goes completely off the rails and keeps going disrupting both the phrase structure and the steady 4-4 that we've had until this point. It feels like we're in for a certain type of metal song where the excitement comes from speed and harmony and cool riffs, but then it turns into this out-of-control ride where we don't know where the next resting point will be. As it turns out, after this point, we get a few short resting points, but mostly without any predictable phrase structure until quite a bit later. This is something I love about a lot of metal, this way of avoiding predictable structures 
or making it seem like a phrase structure will be predictable and then saying, psych, you got punked. We're actually doing something super linear and jagged instead of looping back. It feels like the music is breaking away from where it seems like it's going. In this case, it's a very kinetic, exciting feeling. Like we're on a roller coaster where we go up an incline and think we can see what the descent will be like, but actually turns out to be much twistier and longer than it looked. Thanks for watching. Check out this underrated album if you don't know it, and also do the liking, do the commenting, do the subscribing. See ya.